Hey there, Mitchell Sigmund yet again for Acoustica Zeros and Ones blog. Today we're going to talk about Mixcraft's plugin management feature. Now, since Mixcraft has about a zillion D VST plugins and instruments, finding a specific plugin or instrument can sometimes be a little bit overwhelming. Plugin management lets you create your own custom collections of effects or instruments, which makes it a lot easier to quickly find what you're looking for. Yeah. Anyway, the plugin management feature is ridiculously easy to use, so if you're not using it already, you really should be. And without further ado, here's how to use it. The first thing we'll do is go to the file menu over here and select manage plugins. And then you'll see this window right here. And you can see here's all your plugins, uh, the built-in Mixcraft ones, as well as any third-party plugins that you have. So what we want to do is make a collection. And we can do this by pressing the plus button over here. And now we have a new collection, and it's ready to have a name typed in. So for example, I'm going to call this one Reverbs. And hit return. And you can see there's a zero next to it right now because there's nothing in this particular collection. So now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit all. And now I can just find any of the effects I want and just drag them over. Make sure you drag them on top of the actual name right there. If I drag one just over here in the white section, it's not going to do anything. And then if I click on it, you can see that Acoustic Pro Studio Reverb is in my collection. And a really easy way to make a collection that has all one type of effect, like reverbs, for example, is to go up here in the search field and just type the kind of effect you want. And you can see all the reverbs that I have are now popping up because reverb is in the name. So now I can take these and I'm going to put the other ones in here. And now when I click on the collection, you can see all three of these reverbs are here. So once you're done making the collection, click OK. Now when I go to add an effect to a track, I'll click the effect button. And over here, I'll click the little down arrow. And you can see my collections right here, reverbs. And voila, I can add my reverb really quick. Also keep in mind that your collections can be anything you want. It doesn't have to be a specific type of effect. It could be guitar stuff, or even effects for Bob's vocals. And you could mix any types of effects you like in there. You could say, hey, I like the acoustic delay on Bob. And I like the Twisthead VS206 preamp on Bob. And there they are in the collection. And of course, you can make collections of instruments as well. So I'm going to click on the instruments over here and, and say I want uh, atmospheric, for example. And I'm going to choose atmospheric type instruments like Journeys and Impulse. And we'll call ME80 atmospheric as well. So now I have these here. I can press OK, click on the instrument. And when I go to select an instrument, you can see right here, here's my collection, Atmospheric. Finally, one other really small thing I want to point out is you can move your collections around. I can just grab it and move it, and this will make them appear in whatever order you like when it pops up in a menu.